Hello, hello guys. Um, I have come to do quite a quick, um, it's, well it's kind of a tutorial, more of a process. I've been playing around with um, a little idea that I had and I'm just going to kind of show you what I've been doing. And then um, basically this is my template or my prototype actually um, of a little belly band tag that I um, have been playing around with. It's not kind of finalised and I'm still kind of developing ways that I can use it but I'm just gonna kind of show you how far I've got. So basically I've got some ivory cardstock and to start with I'm going to be using this punch and I'm going to make a two and a half inch you can do one and a half two and two and a half inches so I'm going to do a two and a half and a two and I have done a little bit of prep so you don't have to watch too much of this process so basically you pop your on these um, I've got two like this I've got this one too which has got the holes in and this one is supposed to put the eyelets in but it's pants so I'm just gonna squeeze that and that keeps happening I'll show you that in a moment and the two inch so I haven't I haven't measured the height I've just cut some cardstock I have not you know been um, uh, oh, haven't been measuring out so I quite often get these little bits left so I just snip that off so um, in preparation, I ink around the edge and use the Tim Holtz stamp. And I've done that already, so you don't have to watch. <laughs> and basically, this is so simple. I've cut some strips of, on the first one, I've cut some strips of Tim Holtz cardstock. And I've cut it two and a half centimetres because it kind of fits perfectly in that little hole. Just pull this down. Um, and first thing I do is just slot it through the hole, uh, roughly line it up to the bottom and then fold it over, nice and simple. Um, I will show you one that I've made without using this tag though, so if you don't have this tag punch you don't need to worry you can do this um, you can you can basically make a belly band on any tag um, I just thought this was quite a cute tag to put this belly band on because it's it's got that little um, the wide notch out of the top so I mean you could sew these I've kind of tried to do a little a little project without sewing because I know not everybody has a sewing machine. So I take my fabric tack and I have no idea guys if this video or when this video will ever be shown because I'm having some major technology issues at the moment. My Mac, uh, ugh, my MacBook is not happy. Um, I've wiped, I saved everything off it, I wiped it all and it looked really promising, it looked like it was going to work and it kind of is and isn't, it's, it's deciding what it does and what it doesn't and when it does it. So yesterday I went and purchased a refurbed Mac a desktop one nice big screen thought it'd be wonderful for photoshop i got it home i loaded everything on which took a few hours and um then it overheated so i had to go straight back to the shop and you know uh, at the moment i have no mac i'm waiting to hear from them um this one I'm not going to use cardstock, I'm going to use a lace trim. I just thread that through and cut that roughly where I want it. And I'm just going to glue this while I keep talking. So yeah, um, Mac's gone back to the shop. Um, they have no idea, there were two of them looking at it yesterday. 
afternoon but obviously they then had to go home so they left it um, but there were two of them and they couldn't really figure out what was going on um, the reason I knew something was wrong was because the fan was going and it was getting louder and louder and louder and it just didn't stop the fan was just going and going and um, I had a Mac desktop before um, when I was doing my photography degree many years ago and um, my son has that now and it's there's never been any problem with it at all it still goes it's still going strong I went up and had a little feel and that does not get hot at all but this um, the mat yesterday was so hot we could not actually touch it to move it to take it back to the shop for a for a period of time <laughs> we had to wait for it to cool down <laughs> it was crazy so yeah there were two of them yesterday and they couldn't really figure out what was going on but there we go, look, um, we've got our belly band on both of our tags. And that's, you know, you could leave it there. That's nice and simple and easy, but you could embellish these. Now I've got some little strips of things that I have cut off. I might pop that one on there, just going to ink that first. And I also have... I did buy a new punch, which I kind of wish I hadn't. Now I've paid out for this Mac that I don't even have. Um, I'll find it in a moment and show you. So on this side, I mean, obviously you can... What I've been doing is I've just been using this, the scrap page part of the um, Tim Holtz paper pad. You know, where you get the these these little um, the little tags so I've been using those to try and use those up because I realized I've got two pages left of my wallflower book um, I thought I had another pad um, which I did apart from it's it's vellum so that's not a lot of good to me at the minute um, so what I'm gonna do on this side talking about the punch this is the new punch um, it's Fiskars and it's a label punch. So I'm just going to find I think that one will go. Yeah. So punch one of these, and you can, I'll show you again something else I've done on one of the other tags. But there are so many things you can do um, with these. put words on this too which would be quite nice oh pants I don't want to put glue there do I that's not gonna stick see some things never change some things never change you know and the thing is because of you know this has been like four days now Mac Mac gate. It's been four days and I just have not been able to get my head in the game. I just haven't and it's because I'm just consumed with, you know, this is obviously like I said, I don't know when I'm going to get this video up or even if I'm going to get this video up because you just, um, you know, you think <laughs> this is now how I make my living this is how um, I survive and without my Mac you can't, you can't you can't do anything you can't do a video you can't do a flip through you can't load anything onto Etsy I've got my phone I've you know um, worst case scenario if I'll have to start using my phone um, but that's not ideal is it you know um, Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to look on the bright side, but it's not really working very well. Okay, so these are the tags. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of these pieces. Now, some of these don't fit. That one does. And I'm going to just make little tags to pop in here. So let me have a, have a little look. I mean, these are so simple really really straightforward and simple um actually what i might do is just cut that straight in half so we've just over eight 
just under eight, so I'm going to go just under four. And then we can have a little long tag of each, each side. And I'm just going to round the corners of these. Like I said, there's, you know, not, this is not, not groundbreaking stuff or anything, but it was just a little idea. And I'm sure people, you know, I've seen belly band tags before. I just like the idea of using this particular tag punch to make these belly band tags. So I just thought I'd share them with you while I'm trying to finish things that I need to do. I have like four kits started at the moment that I can't work on. So we just pop those in there. And this one in that side. Just upside down. I hoped, you know, doing something like this would just take my mind off a bit and all I've done is rant at you. So I I apologise. Um don't really have anyone else to rant to being on my own at home. So that's that one. And I quite like those. I do. I think they're quite cute. And on this one I think we'll use something quite pretty. I mean I have made some another one using this. I'll show you. I'll show you when we finish this one. So how big is that tag? That's so about six. So let's make this. I'm just trying to decide. I think I want flowers. I'm gonna go five and a half on this one. Cut off a bit of the bird's tail, but yeah, I'm good with that. I don't think he can feel it. I'm going round that again. Sorry, a bit more inking. Very quickly. I mean, these are a really nice little kind of quick project. And sometimes you just want something quick and easy where you don't have to concentrate too much. So there we go. And we can do the same on the other side, but I'm not going to do that and bore you too much today. Seems I've gone on about my Mac problems. OK, so these are the two that we've done. I think they're quite cute. I would like to put a little word there. There's still some work to do on these. So I'll show you some that I've made already. So I have this one where I've actually tucked in a few more tags on this side. And what I've done, I quite like these brass staples I've just stapled at the top and the bottom it's glued in the same as this one um, but I've used a kind of bird themed um, paper to do this one uh, this one I've just popped a little bit of lace on the bottom there so that kind of jazzes that up a little bit and this time I've popped a little tag in there so when it goes into a journal if someone has it they can add this on if they want to and I have this one, again I've popped a little piece of wallflower on the top there and used the kind of butterfly tag in here. I haven't stapled this one. And then this one is one that I've done with the lace and again um, that could be added. I had intended on adding that into there but didn't. And I've used the pretty um, roses from wallflower again on that one. And then this is one that I've made without um, not having, you know, if you haven't got this particular punch. Um, I've put, I've used the lace on this one. And this is one of the gorgeous little snippets that I got from Aurelia. I hope that is how you say your name in that beautiful happy mail. Um, so I've I actually attached this to the lace. And I've used an eyelet on that one. I haven't popped a tag in the back of this one yet. And I didn't stamp this one either because I'm not sure what kind of tag will, will actually go in this eventually. So that is my quick little um, share with you today. Belly band tags. Um, I hope you found something in that useful. And thank you for listening to me go on about my Mac. But... You know, it really is a big deal to me at the minute and um, just seems to be taking over my life. So um, it was really nice to do a little bit of crafting. I hope to be making another video, but when it will come, I don't know. So thank you again. I will see you all soon. Bye.